Were those security forces thus a kind of law unto themselves, with no control from higher up? Yes, in certain cases it might have been the position. Uh, look, in a human organization, such as the police force at that stage, uh, you might get individuals who take the law into their own hands. And that is wrong, but th that should be dealt with the moment you get uh, notice that some, something is wrong. So you people also, obviously, not knowing about it, you say we do not accept any responsibility for it. No, the question of responsibility is something different. You always carry the responsibility, whether your, your subordinates uh, act in a correct way or not. I, for instance, accepted responsibility in the administration, falling under me. So uh, you can't get away from your responsibility as a public figure. Say, for instance, in this case where a cabinet minister was eventually found guilty of corruptive purposes, we accepted the responsibility, but we didn't side with him in the way he dealt with the matters, and we didn't uh, try to protect him. The law went its course. The rule of Tabu Mbeki and Nelson Mandela, how would you compare them? It is well known that Mr. Nelson Mandela at his own request, saw me on different occasions, in Cape Town and here, in the wilderness. I warned him against uh, policies, dangerous policies for the country. At one stage he was sitting in this very room and he requested me to come back into politics. In what capacity? As leader of the National Party. Oh. And I declined. I said to him, no, I can't cooperate in that sense because I fundamentally differ the way you are dealing with matters and the way I'm dealing with matters. You know, he declined to renounce violence as a way of dealing with political life. I warned him against communism, although he stated in the court, who found him guilty, that he, uh, he, he, he was quoted to, to, to describe how to be a good communist. I never liked his policies, and he knows it. Uh, I never saw him on occasion to warn against terrorism and communism. He never did so. The same applies to the President Mbeki. I never saw him warning against uh, terrorism and communism. So, both of them, in certain aspects, act the same in, a, in the same way. In his document, Nelson Mandela referred to concerns about ANC links with the South African Communist Party and wrote, I've already pointed out that no self-respecting freedom fighter will allow the government to prescribe who his allies in the freedom struggle should be, and that to obey such instructions would be a betrayal of those who have suffered repression with us for so long. We equally reject the charge that the ANC is dominated by the SACP, and we regard the accusation as part of the smear campaign the government is waging against us. How do you view your career, the good parts and possibly the parts you regret? And what message do you have 
for this rainbow nation, as it is now called, particularly with regard to its future. When I look back, I feel happy about the share I had in building up the National Party. I thoroughly enjoyed it to serve under prominent leaders of the past. And uh, after that, I became a senior member of the party. Uh, my days as Minister of Defense were some of the most lucky days in my life. And so was the development of our arms industry. Um, I look back with deep appreciation for the opportunities I had to, 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 to uh, deal with my share of commitment in the sense. Um, I was very much disappointed when I saw that the National Party dwindled away. Uh, it brought forward strong leaders in the past. Uh, but eventually, it seems to me, disappointment took control over its soul. Did you have any regrets in your life as leader? Look, I've been in public life for more than 50 years. Over such a period, you have your disappointments, but you, have, you also have your very pleasant days. And I would say that looking back, if I have to do again what I've done, I'll repeat it. And how do you see the future of the country, Mr. Berta? Any message for our rainbow nation? What must they do to remain a rainbow? Look, uh, I don't believe there's such a thing as a rainbow nation. I think it's the wrong word. Uh, to call it an absurdity, I think, would be right. The colors of the rainbow are quite different from the colors in South Africa and in any, any other country. I don't think we, I don't agree with the, the term rainbow nation. Uh, no, we are a country of multicultural minorities. That is what we are, multicultural minorities. And we should build for the future on those principles. Economic cooperation, cultural mutual respect, and dedicated service to a country you say you love. Thank <laughs> you.